Hello to all of my comic book collectors and speculators, Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. Before we get into our video today, just wanted to ask you all to do me a favor and uh, give me some help because this channel is now on the road to 10,000 subscribers. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're doing, please consider subscribing and join this wonderful community and if you do subscribe please just let me know in the comments just so i can give you a shout out next video and if you're looking for a very special shout out in the next video we're gonna play a little game here in this video i'm gonna have four random quotes spread out over the course of the next uh, i don't know 10 minutes whatever this video is gonna be and if you can correctly identify all of those quotes, you will get a very special shout out in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video so you can get all of those quotes. Today, we are going to be talking about some comic book series that you should be collecting. Now, of course, I'm sure many of you out there who are collectors and speculators are constantly paying attention to different apps and websites and blogs so you can keep on top of the comic books that are currently trending, those individual issues that are currently trending and are, are hot. But I was thinking to myself, you know, not everybody has the coin to dish out cash for these exclusive really popular hot comics. So instead in this video today, I wanted to talk about some characters that you could be collecting to get excited for these upcoming movies and TV shows. Because of course, in today's comic book collecting market, all hot books are most more often than not uh, be become hot and heated because of movies or Netflix series or anything on the screen that is happening with those particular characters. So this is going to be characters that you should be collecting. And you're the hottest young person a role model could have. Mm, here, wear a button. And of course, if you're more of a reader, just like me, I will be leaving some reader's picks in the comments. So if you're looking just to read about these characters, uh, I have some great graphic novel and omnibus selections that you can pick up by just following some of the links in the description. So the first character we're going to be talking about is one that actually surprised me a little bit, and that is He-Man. And all of the, the hype over He-Man right now is because there is a Kevin Smith Netflix animated show that is going to be coming out. Specifically, the books that are like really hot for He-Man are DC Comics Presents number 47 and Masters of the Universe number one. Ghost Rider. Now, Ghost Rider has always been one of my favorite characters. I actually liked the first Nicolas Cage movie. Wasn't a big fan of the um, Spirit of Vengeance. I actually think that movie was probably one of the worst movies that Marvel ever made. Uh, but nevertheless, the Ghost Rider character is awesome. And the reason why he's jumping back up to popularity and he's so hot is because there's reportedly a Midnight Suns movie in production right now. And Midnight Suns will feature the Ghost Rider character. Now, Ghost Rider is a character that has been around since the 1970s. He made his first appearance in Marvel Spotlight number five. So obviously Marvel Spotlight number five is, is, is going to be hot as well as Ghost Rider number one, Ghost Rider in his first solo series. But there are even some really great issues uh, for Ghost Rider coming out of the 1990s, which shouldn't be too, too expensive. And also uh, the Ghost Rider issues from the uh, 1980s uh, actually surprisingly are not that expensive either. So keep a lookout for those. Batgirl. Now, Batgirl is on everybody's radar right now because there is a Batgirl movie that is going to be coming up at some point. So people are currently trying to, you know, cherry pick those little Batgirl issues that are really, really hot. Her first appearance was in this book right here, which came out in 1966. So this one's going to be quite, quite expensive. If you're not looking to dish out that much money, I really highly recommend that uh, you go after some of the more modern Batgirl stuff. I actually really like a lot of the uh, New 52 
uh, Batgirl stuff, like some of the Gail Simone uh, issues from the New 52. Great, great. So, and I don't think they should be too expensive. But again, if you want those complete stories uh, that are relevant to Batgirl, check out the link in the description for some awesome Batgirl reading. You were right about one thing, Master. The negotiations were short. And probably my favorite character that we're going to be talking about today, that is Venom. Venom has been hot for years. I really don't think that the heat has cooled down so much for Venom because since he made his first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man number 300, this character has just been a Molotov cocktail. He's been a bombshell for Marvel Comics. Everybody loves Venom. And of course, the hype is just increase the hype is just increasing because of the new Venom movie that is coming out this fall, which is going to feature Tom Hardy reprising his role as Venom, and of course, the very perfectly casted Woody Harrelson as Carnage. So pretty much anything Venom you can pick up right now is going to be awesome. Uh, specifically, the really hot books for Venom are obviously going to be uh, his first appearance, which is Amazing Spider-Man uh, number 300. People are probably also looking for Secret Wars number eight, which is the first appearance of the symbiote uh, that eventually becomes Venom. And of course, there is uh, Venom the Lethal Protector, which is one of my favorite Venom comics uh, that is also very, very hot right now. But there are a lot of not as collectible Venom issues that are floating around out there, so I really would encourage you to pick those up. Uh, the Venom solo, solo series that Marvel's currently publishing is is great as well. Highly recommend checking that out uh, because it's just awesome. They have uh, Null, uh, the symbiote god, and all of that is just, it's just great. So make sure you're checking out some Venom and uh, follow the links in the description to get some really awesome Venom reading. If you really want, in my opinion, if you really want like a great overview of the Venom character, I would highly recommend picking up the Venom uh, vs. Spider-Man Omnibus. It's great. I actually have it and it is, it is beautiful and it covers every single important story uh, to the Venom character and it's conveniently in one book. So check it out. The link will be in the description. You can't have Venom without Carnage. And of course, Carnage is also a very, very popular character right now, again, because of the uh, movie uh, that is co coming out. Carnage is like a psycho version of Venom. If you thought Venom wasn't psycho enough, well, Carnage takes it to the next level. Uh, Carnage made his first appearance in Amazing Spider-Man number 361. Great issue to pick up uh, if you're looking for his first appearance, but again, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. I remember actually when this issue was... <sighs> I remember I bought this issue for probably five, ten dollars, and that was maybe ooh, probably close to ten years ago now. But now the the prices for this book have increased substantially. So I uh, don't know if you're going to be able to uh, pick this one up without dishing out quite a bit of cash. But Carnage, you know that first run that featured Carnage between uh, Amazing Spider-Man number three sixty one to Amazing Spider-Man number three sixty three is great, great stuff and uh, absolutely love it, highly recommend picking it up, and there will be some other great Carnage reading with the links in the description. And another one that is currently trending right now is actually uh, Tomb of Dracula. Tomb of Dracula is one of my favorite series uh, from the Bronze Age. I absolutely love horror. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I have a lot of horror comic books and I just, just love them. Uh, but I, I, there's a special place in my heart for that Bronze Age horror. I love the art style and I love the stories. They're not too gruesome and uh, they're just really tastefully done. Absolutely love them. But the reason why Tomb of Dracula is uh, really kind of trending right now is because uh, Ethan Hawke is supposed to be playing uh, Dracula in the Moon Knight series. So people are starting to pay attention to the Dracula character again. The best way to experience Dracula and the Tomb of Dracula, in my opinion, is uh, getting the Tomb of Dracula omnibus. 
and the link will, of course will be in the description. I actually have that one as well. It is great. I also will post a review on that uh, at some point in the future. Uh, Tomb of Dracula is just great. The uh, the original issues for Tomb of Dracula are going to be pretty expensive right now. Uh, they've actually always been expensive, but the prices are currently going up uh, because of the hype over the uh, Dracula character. But uh, if you're just looking to read and experience the, the, the beauty of uh, the Dracula title, I really uh, highly recommend you pick up that omnibus. It's getting kind of hard to believe things are going to get better. I've been drowning too long to believe that the tide's going to turn. Conan the Barbarian. I cannot tell you how many times uh, people have tried to make Conan the Barbarian uh, movies. Uh, I mean, there was the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. There was uh, the movie with Jason Momoa. Um, I, I know a lot of people didn't like either of those uh, films that I mentioned there, but Conan the Barbarian is supposed to be getting his own Netflix series uh, coming up soon. So, of course, uh, people are paying attention to Conan. Conan is actually a cult classic. Uh, he actually made sword and sorcery comics very relevant in the uh, early 1970s and he's been popular pretty much since. I highly would recommend uh, checking out some of the Conan omnibuses uh, that are out right now because uh, that is again going to be a great way to experience Conan. Links will be in the description. Uh, but the individual issues for Conan are quite expensive. Uh, Conan the Barbarian number one, I think you can't even pick up for under $500 these days. So uh, it's going to be pretty expensive. But any anything Conan you can read right now uh, is going to be awesome. A, real, a, a much cheaper alternative to uh, the Conan the Barbarian series is actually going to be King Conan, which was a 1980s series. Don't know if this has ever been collected in an omnibus or a trade before, uh, but the individual issues aren't too expensive. I actually have them in my own collection and I know I didn't get them for uh, for a very expensive price, but uh, keep a lookout for those as well. And lastly, Star Wars. Star Wars is something that people have been talking about for the past few years now and the market is so overheated uh, right now when it comes to Star Wars comic books. I cannot believe uh, Clone Wars number one, the first appearance of Ahsoka, how much that has increased in price over the past few years. It's just insane uh, how much the prices of Star Wars comics are, are increasing. Uh, but of course, all of the hype over Star Wars is because movies, Disney Plus series, I mean, it just never, ever stops. Uh, there have been a number of Disney Plus series that have been announced for Star Wars. So people are just going nuts for Star Wars. Uh, I actually posted a video a few months ago uh, listing the most collectible and the most significant Star Wars comics to be collecting uh, right now. And I will post that link in the description if you're in interested in uh, taking a look at it. Now, of course, if you are just interested in reading, I, I would highly recommend picking up pretty much any Marvel epic collections uh, that include uh, Star Wars. Uh, I per my, one of my personal favorites actually is um, the original Marvel years, uh, with the Marvel epic collection, and that's right here. Such a great, great, awesome Bronze Age Star Wars uh, experience reading th this stuff. And uh, I actually have this one in my own collection as well. Highly, highly enjoy it, and you can pick it up by following the link in the description. This one, I believe, is always in print. Uh, I don't don't think though we'll take this one out of print anytime soon, just because of its popularity. But uh, this one here includes that famous Star Wars number one, which was the first Star Wars appearance um, in comic books uh, back. I believe it was in 1977 and that was originally published by marvel that book obviously is going to be quite expensive but if you just want to read it uh again you can follow that link in the description so that about does it for a video today really really hope that you enjoyed it tell me are there any other characters or series that you think are really hot right now and should be collected let me know in the comments and as always this is dante d signing off i will see you all in the next episode.